Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. I have not done a video in like, I think a month or like a few weeks. But we're going to start posting again, and I'm going to start posting on this channel, because the gaming channel is cool. I've been posting on there a little bit, but I'm going to take a break from gaming since there's not a lot of games that I'm looking to play right now. And besides, I've been hella into action figures right now. So... And toys and all that. So I'm going to show you a bunch of new stuff that I've got and just give you guys kind of a room tour. So here we go. This is obviously a door. There's nothing crazy about this. Got a Hot Topic bag. I got a backpack here. Got a mirror. I've already seen this. RC bodies, all this stuff. Cactus. I need to put you in the window. TV area. Like I said, nothing crazy. All this stuff, I'm the crazy. Venus flytrap, I got him now. I've been wanting one of these guys for a while. In fact, there's a fly still in there. It's not that black. That's like bruising or something on the plant. Yeah, there's a fly somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, here's all this. This painting I made in Mechagodzilla. My own custom Mechagodzilla. So here's this. This is where it changes, so there's my bed still, there's that, it's a little bit messy over there right now. Carpet, I moved the sofa from there to here, I moved those from being there to here, I moved the table, that table that was once there, to there, and I've changed my trash can from there to there. So I moved a lot of stuff around, as you can see, but I got a nice soft carpet now. So there we go, there's, uh, there's that. I got some new Transformers because I also am into Transformers right now. I'm into Dinosaurs and Transformers, so I got him. I got, I think, Crazy Bolt, I think. Marat, or Barrage, I mean, Barrage. Uh, Cheetor, and then I think it's like Minimus Embus, right? Some dumb name, kind of. <laughs> Minimus Embus, and yeah, Crazy Bolt. So yeah, those are all my Transformers. All three of them are Decepticons. Barrage, Crazy Bull, and him. Uh, Minibus. And then Cheetor is the Autobot. Some more Transformers I got down there. I got Optimus. And I got Starscream, Megatron. I got Wheeljack. Here's Megatron. I'm actually missing one of Starscream's guns. So yeah, that's that sucks. Here's this guy, and this isn't even a Transformer, this is just a random dude, but it, he looks like a Transformer. Here's my lawn board with my hat. I know this is covered up by a trash bag. I've done a lot of cleaning to this room. <clears throat> but yeah, I got my Halo, Halo brew over here. They also came with cards. Those are lasers off of my Transformer Aimless, which was my first ever Transformer, actually, that I've had. Uh, if I could find him, I'll show you him. Yeah, I have about like eight Transformers. Seven, seven Transformers. So this was the first Transformer I ever got. Um, for a long time. In fact, I used to have a big collection of Transformers. And I ended up, uh, selling them. Or not selling them, uh, getting rid of them. For free, obviously. And, um, I really missed them. They were McDonald's guys, and then there was like G1, big old Transformers. I had Grimlock, I had Crosshairs, Hounds, or no, not Crosshairs and Hounds. I think I had like, I think I had, yeah, I had Drift, like a little like squishy Drift rubber toy. You, you, you get what I mean. I had like a bunch of Transformer toys, and I sold them all. And I was like, you know what, I really like Transformers, so I started up a collection again. And it's going big, and this, my birthday is actually on May 25th, but we're having it May 22nd. Today is May 18th, right? 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 Can we get clarification? May 19th! Jesus, okay. So yeah, 19, 20, 21, 22, yeah, that's in three days. My family's coming. But yeah. So, I got Aimless, he's Decepticon. First Transformer I picked up about a month ago, I'd say. And now look at the collection. It's gotten bigger. And yes, there's Halo guys under here. This whole bin is not filled to the top. At the very top is probably where it all, the, all the Transformers are. But yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, 
Megatron down there. Six, seven, or no, five. Hold on, let me just get them all out. Yeah, right, 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 right. This is gonna be a long video. All right, I have three, six, three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. I have ten Transformers all together. Eleven, if you want to count this random ninja dude. All right. Anyways, so there's that. Here's my Alan Grant figure. Like I said, I've been really into Jurassic Park, so I'm gonna start making movies soon with the figures. But here comes this. Oh yeah. Also for my birthday, I'm turning 14. So hell yeah. That's awesome, guys. It's gonna be very cool. But yeah. Also, I wanted to say real quick, guys. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something because, I mean, just look at my room. I still play with toys, and I'm 14. I'm not out there doing drugs. I'm not out there smoking, you know. I'm not out there drinking beer or vaping or any of that bullshit, little pussy stuff that kids do nowadays. You know, it's good to be this age and learn how to fight. I think that's a good thing for a lot of kids. I mean, if they're not fighters, of course, no pressure. Um... Learn how to fight. Obviously, I'm doing boxing right now. So, there's that. I'm also going to be doing, uh, you know, like Taekwondo and all that stuff later on. So, you know, stay as young as you want to. And I, I know a lot of people take that in the wrong way. They're like, oh, what do you mean stay young? Nah, 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 nah. Well, what are you talking about? But let's be completely 100% honest, guys. You can do whatever the hell you want. I don't care what age you are. I don't care who's telling you not to do it. You can do it. You can do it. You see me with 3,700 subs today. Which, uh, by the way, thank you guys. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I have 3,700 subs because people actually love what I do. And I'm proud to see that, you know. So, anybody who watches my channel and is getting, you know, hated in real life for playing with toys or something if they're older... Don't even take it, man. Don't even take it. Because in a few days, I'm about to be 14. And I'm going to still do this stuff. And I'm going to still enjoy it. And nothing's going to change. And people that are going to try to drag you down, just don't let them drag you down in life. Especially during these times. Um, but yeah, with that said, I'm going to get that out there. I know a few freaking uh, people... Back then, when I first started this channel, I had like a thousand subs were messaging me about that, and I told them the same thing. So, of course, I was younger then. Now I'm older. Now I'm a big, big dude. You see this forearm that's so much muscle? I'm kidding, but... It's not muscle that wins the fight. It's intelligence. But yeah, anyways, here's my dinosaurs, guys. I'm going to start doing reviews again. I know I haven't done reviews in a long time. I haven't done Transform reviews. I haven't done Dinosaur reviews. I haven't done Godzilla reviews. I haven't done this. I haven't done that. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, guys. Oh, also, these Transformers are going on my cake. I probably will film there. It's going to be a bit awkward, though, because my family's going to be over. I haven't seen my sister in, like, two years, so, you know, she's going to be there. But I might film a little bit for you guys, um, but I am going to start posting again and probably stop the gaming channel for a while. Um, also because I got age restricted because I'm cursing, which is another thing about me, I'm starting to not curse as much, at least, especially on videos and stuff and not letting that energy get out there. Make me look like a bad person for cursing out there. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to definitely slow down on that a lot damn more. But, um, yeah. Anyways, with all that stuff said, I want to show you my dinosaurs. We're going to do this fast. I guess I'll just show you the new ones I got. Uh, I think I only got like two or three new ones. Did I do a reel on the plesiosaur? Yeah, I did. Well, then in that case, I only got like one or two. The freaking Sarkosuke is the colorful... Sarcosuchus. Look at this guy. Got a light green eye right there. Mattel's doing such a good job. Honestly, I like the ones that don't make sound a lot. So, like, press this button right here. His mouth closes. So, I actually found out that pressing this, his mouth doesn't close all the way. 
but if you press right here, his mouth does close. So you kind of have to jam your finger into his tail, and it looks weird, but yeah. And then if you go like that, it turns his head, and then there's this. If you rotate the tail like this, he moves his head. Also, feel free to get the scan, guys. If you want to learn about him, pause the video, get that scan. But yeah, it actually doesn't mess up the mechanic when you go like this. Look, the tail doesn't even move. When you click it down, the button doesn't. Which is a good thing. Because Hasbro used to have their freaking figures. Where it would mess up the thing if you... If you would like... It, well, not this figure exactly, but you, you get what I mean. Like, if I bring out one of my favorite Hasbro figures of all time... Which I know a lot of people don't like it because the action is really dumb on it. But I still think it's a good figure at the end of the day. It's a lot better than other dinosaur companies out here and stuff. I mean, obviously, it's a high-paying company. Like this. Here's the mechanism. And every time I open the jaw, like this, like, oh God, this guy cannot stand. Ugh. If I go like this, right, open the jaw, if you look at the top, the button moves. And there are some mechanisms on the figures that would actually break inside by you just opening the mouth. Of course, I got rid of all those bastard bite figures because I think they're actually terrible. The only ones I kept is the Mosasaurus, which I don't have the thing that came with it, the uh, submarine or the figure, which I kind of wish I still did. Same with the Indominus. But I still have these guys nonetheless. And I still think they're good figures. In fact, I think these are some of the best figures Hasbro ever made. Um, I actually don't have the Tranodon. I never got him. I, I think I had a chance to, and I didn't. But I have the two best ones. I I think, in my opinion, these are the two best out of the Tranodon. But, I mean, you could definitely see that Mattel's doing so much better. I mean, literally, they made a full-scale Alan Grant figure that goes just so well with this Sarko. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That's so, that's so freaking cool. And from the tip of this guy's tail... That's where his shoe is. Look how big that is. That's like four Allen Grants. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven. That might be seven and a half Allen Grants. That's crazy. But yeah, I do love Hasbro still. I still think they're good. They obviously, I love them for their Transformers and stuff. I just don't think that the producer or whatever for... Or at least the company at the time for these guys did good. Or the Age of Extinction Transformers. Those guys were a little oomph. You know what I'm saying? Or the uh, Last Night. The Last Night was just god awful on some of the figures. The Bumblebee figure I used to have that I bought for like $14. I don't know why my camera's glitching. Yeah, that guy, his legs would just fall off like constantly and it was not nice. But, nonetheless, I still have this Indominus and I'm not getting rid of him anytime soon. I also had a rubber Indominus, the one with the rubber neck and stuff. I ended up getting rid of that figure over time. It would just make noise during the middle of the night because it's action. And it just was so big, it didn't go in comparison with any of my freaking dinosaurs. I think that's one thing about me um, is that I need stuff to usually go in scale if I want to play with it. Because if you have, like, an Alan Grant, right, and then you have some big fucking, like, Ian Malcolm figure that's, like, this tall and just... It, just as taller than the T-Rex or, like, up to its nose. You know, that's just... No, just get this guy out of here then. I guess I'm going to buy these figures. Or I'm just going to buy an Ian Malcolm figure that's this big. Which is what I would do if it realistically if that freaking happened. But, yeah. So, also, I want to say, guys, I'm not a fan of Rorivore figures. I'm just not. I think they're a really good idea for Mattel. But me, personally, I take the batteries out. I admire it for the figure, not the sound. Because... The thing I don't like about the new Roar Force is that the Metricon source, if I moved its head at all, even this, it would make the sound. So imagine trying to play with it. All you hear is just roar, 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 roar. It's like, God damn it, this is so annoying. You know, so I just unscrewed that and I took the batteries out. It's very easy. All you need is just like a small screwdriver to make sure it fits and then take it out. Take the little tiny cylinder batteries out and save them if you want, if you ever want this guy to make sound again also. Get the scanner. Pause the video. Two more seconds.
There you go. Yeah, Metroketosaurus, or I mean, sorry, Cryolophosaurus. I'm already forgetting. This guy's awesome. I do want to get the old school Roarvors because they had a button that you could press and it would make the sound. I thought that was a lot cooler, especially if their mouths are actually open. Now, this guy is good, right? But look, look at the way his head is. Yeah. If you look inside there, those springs, if you can even fucking see them, because the light. Yeah, well, basically, there's a lot of freaking broken springs in there, and it's not nice, it's not good looking, and basically, what happened is this mechanism just broke over time, because this is not the best figure. I'm sorry, Mattel, this Sukumimus is not the best figure. I think Jurassic Park Sukumimus in the past have been a lot better. Get that QR code, pause the video. There you go. But yeah, uh, if I have to be completely honest, I just, I don't know how good this figure is, at least for its, uh, you know, mechanism. Because, I mean, yes, it's good, because, you know, it, I mean, it still works, even with some broken screens and stuff. Which I will say, it's very good. It used to snap down, but, I mean, who really cares about that? But, you know, it's, it's good. I mean, it's still a very nice figure, don't get me wrong. I just think for the mechanism, it's not the best. But Mattel is still killing it, and I still love their company to death. And, I mean, they just make such good figures. I mean, look at this! Look at this! Look at these guys. Man, get these guys out of here. The one thing I do like about those, that, that's cool. That's kind of cool. And how it sinks in, like the actual, like, injury sinks in. And they don't make it where all the ribs are exposed. It actually sinks in there, and and compared to being like all the way out here, where it's just like okay, does the spinosaurus or dinosaur even have any skin? Like you can actually, if you guys know what I'm saying, it sinks in like an actual like injury would compared to just being all the way up here at this little part. And just like okay, this thing has like the tiniest little layer of skin. You know what I mean? It makes it a lot more unrealistic. But yeah, I love the gaming beaver, by the way. I do have a shirt of him. I know I was going to show that in one of my other channel channels here. But yes, I have it. It's the I Heart Toast shirt. And I love it. And I want to get the Gaming Beaver uh, freaking Toast plushie. But there it is. Yay. It is a bit old and a little bit small for me. But I still wear it. And I'm going to get a new one soon. If I get any birthday money for my birthday, I'm going to buy probably a new one. Maybe like a blue shirt or something. If he has it. But yeah, I don't have many Jurassic Park figures. Or Jurassic World dinosaurs still. But, um... Yeah. So here's all this. I'm going to let you guys get the last little QRs here. Here's that. Pause the videos. Trust me. It works. Alright, I'm in the video. Bye guys, might make a part two.